Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. I had mentioned earlier that if you need any help with your uh, figure making, you can mention that in the comment section. I'll be creating tutorials based on that so that it could be helpful for you as well as others who follow uh, this channel. Many researchers are following this channel, which is great. And in one of our recent videos, uh, Lidanjali asked can you show a tutorial of cauliflower like structure illustration and i asked to share a reference image she had messaged a reference image on instagram let me show you that how it looks like so this is the image that she shared and these are the nanoparticles that we want to create it looks like you know flower like structure something similar to cauliflower that you can say let's see how we can create that in blender so let me open blender so let me tell you what is the logic behind creating something like this you can see that we have actually layered structures they are distributed randomly uh, right around a spherical a single point randomly like vertically so let's do that we will be using particle system so let me open blender it is very easy to do first of all i'll go to top view i'll click on this z icon on the right side now we need to create a plane shift a mesh plane so this is our layered structure and we need some randomness on the surface so that it doesn't look like you know flat surface we need that to be appearing like uh, a wavy surface here you can see there it is not a flat plane so for that you use displacement modifier go back to edit mode press tab right click subdivide few times so that we can add more details using the displacement modifier so subdividing is necessary to get that detail otherwise displacement modifier will only have four po vertex points to displace now we have more points so that the displacement will be more smooth don't increase it a lot because blender might crash because we are adding more points exponentially right so go to modifier tabs here click on add modifier inside search type displace yeah go back to object mode now it just got displaced we need to choose a texture for that click on new here go to texture and here under type choose cloud now scroll down here adjust the size now look at that we have a surface and increase it now that looks fine to remove these subdivided lines right click shade smooth now it is a flat smooth line now i will select this and move to one side and i will add a sphere shift a mesh uv sphere let's decrease the scale press s and scale it down a lot like that now we will add particle system on the right side go to particle settings click on this plus icon to add a new particle system by default there will be emitter particle system we are going for hair particle system hair particles are stationary emitter particles are moving right so what we will do these lines are basically particles we will replace all those lines with our plane symbol that's all we need to do actually so for that we need to change the location of the origin now you can see this tiny yellow dot is the location of the origin by the way I'm moving the screen like this right so the shortcut for that is shift plus scroll wheel I will turn on my screencast key so that you can see the buttons that I'm pressing press shift then hold scroll key so that you can move it like this use scroll wheel up and down to zoom in and zoom out now I'll go to edit mode press tab and I will select entire mesh press a which is very important or simply click and drag select everything a also works now select move tool and move this to one side now you can see this tiny yellow dot we need that to be at the edge somewhere here like that and i'll go back to object mode now so why we did that because when we duplicate the hair particles with our plane if the origin is at center and all the particles will go to center and now for the fact that we have the origin at one edge now particles will be like this if i had the previous version particles will be like this because particles are distributed based on origin so that is very important don't forget oops let me move back control z multiple times yeah 
now select the particle system everything is easy go under render change render as from path to object and change instance object choose this eyedropper tool and select our plane now look at this what is happening so we need to make sure that object rotation is selected and go above and reduce the number here we have a lot of particles now that's it we have pretty much achieved almost what we want we can improve it a lot now activate advanced option and now rotation will appear if you activate rotation as well you can randomize its rotation to bring in more randomness change orientation axis to normal tangent then now you can add randomness like this see so choose an optimal randomness that you are happy with and that looks fine you can adjust the number also and you can adjust the scale here see all right now let's add some material to the plane go to material properties click on new go to base color change the color to maybe red now switch to render preview mode add some light shift a light area light move this up scale it up increase the power now that looks fine we can add a substrate shift a mesh cube scale it down press s scale it along z axis s z scale it along y axis s y now scale along x axis s x yeah now i'll move this down now i'll duplicate it few times so the shortcut for duplicating is shift d okay select the object and press shift d now to bring some randomness i'll rotate this r press r and move a little bit in random directions so that all doesn't look the same that's all you need to do but you can improve the lighting a lot by placing one more area lamp shift d r y and i will add one more yeah i'll add a camera shift a camera now i'll move the camera somewhere here and click on this camera icon zoom in a little bit lock the camera use this hand icon to position it well that's all and i will go to render properties here under film activate transparent option so that we will have a transparent background okay that's how you do it but you can improve this a lot if you want uh, for this plane you can see that you know the these sharp corners are there if you want to avoid that what i would do instead of starting with a plane shift a mesh plane and i will go to top view press z go to edit mode press tab and move these points like this so that we can add some randomness and choose this bevel tool and here change edge to vertices now click on this yellow dot and move this like that click here move it like this click here move it like that so that we have a more random surface now you can add a subdivision surface modifier here like that now you can add a displacement modifier like we did earlier so this is only for making the flakes more organic cloud adjust the size i will increase the levels of subdivisions see Ad you can also adjust the strength here now that looks good right click shade smooth select this and go to edit mode press tab press a and use this move tool move this to one side so that we have our origin at one end now that looks fine in this case what we can do we can move this origin here press tab and move this here now that looks good and go to materials change the material to the red material that we have created and that looks good 
and if you want to you know make it a little shiny you can increase metallic character a little bit and reduce the roughness a little bit yeah so now let's replace all those flakes with this one i will again increase the size in texture so that no you know it looks more smooth yeah that would be fine and here unselect this plane and use this eyedropper tool and select our new plane now look at that it looks more organic more smooth it looks more beautiful as well go to camera preview based on the requirement you can adjust the number of flakes here and create a nice render that's all let me know if anything is not clear i hope this was very easy to do now if you want to improve the color of the material i will expand this window at the bottom click here on the drop down menu choose shader editor here we, you will see material nodes here you can create advanced materials i will create a separate tutorial on this so now if you want to do simply follow just like how i am doing right now press shift a inside search type color so we have a mix color node here again press shift a to add a new node go to texture choose a texture in this case voronoi will work so now this texture can be connected to this connect distance to factor input connect this result output to base color now we can select colors here in a and b so i'll choose a reddish color here b a dark red maybe maybe yellowish i'll change this one yellowish and increase the brightness see now we have a texture on the plane rather than a single color you can choose whichever colors that you wish now take a render and save the image for showing the transformation here you have one color in the second step you have black color for that you simply need to create a new material that's all so i'll select this one i'll press shift d and i'll go to materials and i will click on minus icon here and i will add a new material here click on new change this base color to black reduce the roughness a little bit increase the metallic a little bit now see that's all when it's time to change the color of this one to black simply select this one go to materials click here and click on material 2 see everything changed to black click here again click on this one everything changed to the previous color that's how you do it and talking about the materials select this flake and come here here you can change everything and if you change the scale here you can adjust the distribution of the color you can adjust all other properties as well see these values and change them and see how they are performing all right so so that's all if you have any specific request let me know in the comment section see you in the next tutorial